Well, we are excited to debut a tool tonight that allows you, the viewer, to interact with us here at Channel 2 in a new and exciting way. Channel 2's Michael Wooten is here to explain. We're all ears, Michael. Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Alice, we hear a lot these days, right, about fake news, complaints that news folks don't do enough to listen to people who are watching. Of course, we always want to do better, and now we have kind of a new tool to be able to do that. You're going to see in just a moment at the bottom of your screen a question. This one is kind of just for fun. Um, we're going to be asking people, uh, would you prefer a little more winter weather or are you ready for spring? There it is right there. And you can go to WGRZ.com slash vote. That is the website. Or you can use our two on your side app uh, and tell us what you think. The results will then come in real time. We'll talk about this more. First, watch this. When NBC begins a new program called Today. At the dawn of television news, a broadcast was a one-way conversation. We typically think of an anchor, reporter, meteorologist, sports director telling the news. Viewers consumed it. Over the years, we found some ways to try to hear from viewers. That's crazy. From what we call MOSs, or man on the street interviews. Are they worth that kind of money? Well, they're getting better. To sharing your comments from Facebook and Twitter. I hear some responses on social media. Problem is, there's still this barrier, the TV screen in between us, making it harder for us to hear from viewers in real time. But thanks to technology in the palm of your hand, that's changing. And it's taking interactivity to a whole new level. This is Megaphone. This new program that we debut today allows two on your side to take your pulse on a topic and share it on live TV, just like many national shows like Talking Dead on AMC. Would Conan survive the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> vote right now. What do you mean now? What, what is it? You'll be able to vote on our website at WGRZ.com slash vote or on our two on your side app. Perhaps we'll ask, what is your favorite season? You would see the voting at the bottom of your screen live as it happened. Or maybe we ask, how would you rate the Sabres season so far? You could give the team from one star to five. When a poll is closed, you would see the results. It's super simple and lets us in on the pulse of our audience. And again, we'll go back right now to uh, the poll that we mentioned. Would you prefer a little more winter weather or are you ready for spring? Not surprisingly, I think 82% of the people who have voted so far have said they're ready for spring. Unfortunately, we're dealing with some winter weather right now. This poll is kind of just for fun and just to kind of get your thoughts on this. But there are some very serious applications here, and it really enables us to get a better sense of where our audience is on in the future. Some very important topics, guys. How many times can people vote, Michael? That's a great question. I think I brought out both of my phones here. Let me see. So I have to carry around two phones, right? Because right. one's work, one's personal. Right. So I could vote twice, right? And sure. then I could go on my computer and vote on the website as well. So there are kind of ways to get around it a little bit, but for the most part, you can only vote once per device. But you can change your mind until the voting's closed. We love it. I think it's going to be interesting just to see what the public thinks. May and or may not be what we would have thought. Exactly. That's the whole point, right? We don't yeah. really know what people think until we give them an opportunity to tell us. Very nice. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Michael. Yep.